Hello everybody, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Dr. A and you are watching or listening to I Say Dr. A. And it's great to finally be here again. I haven't seen you guys, you probably you haven't seen me for quite some time. And there is good reason for that, but hey, it was 2020 and my word, what a crazy year it was. And just wrapping things up in 2020 because I'm recording this on the first day of 2021, 1st of January. And let's have a look at what happened in 2020. It all started off like any normal year would start off. But then again, that crazy thing happened over there in China. And we all thought it was just going to be a Chinese problem and everybody thought ah oh, it's never gonna come but come it did and it affected everyone in ways that we could never ever 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 imagine life was never the same again we had we had to learn SOPs we had to learn social distancing we we started to become afraid of other people we started to become afraid of human contact and it started to take its toll on us I do believe this was the year when everybody suddenly had to wear masks something that you would only see robbers wearing if they go into a bank but you go into the bank and you don't wear a mask and you can't get in this is a year when everywhere you went you had to scan your presence you had to make sure that other people were there this is the year where everybody had to use alcohol rubbing alcohol on their hands just to make sure they had to use hand sanitizers this is the year that everything went online and almost just about everything and we're talking especially about the retail industry i'm sure that many of you saw that there were malls closing down and there were people in the retail industry who lost their businesses who lost their jobs and of course my industry which is education we saw that education had to go online we saw that our children had to go online we saw that our children had to stay at home they couldn't go to schools they couldn't go to kindergartens it was absolute pandemonium and that was just talking about kids what about adults what about university students classes are online lectures are online yes i was still giving lectures in fact i was still emceeing i was emceeing events award ceremonies i was emceeing opening ceremonies and closing ceremonies of many things including workshops and conferences and it was just crazy of how much we had to learn to survive online, how much we had to learn to accelerate our learning. It was a year of accelerated learning. It was a year of sink or swim. If you didn't swim, you sank. And this is the core, I believe, of what 2020 was. At its heart, one truth remained very, very clear, and that is that 2020, above all else, was a year of learning. Why do I say that? Well, people who lost their jobs, they had to learn how to survive. They had to learn how to adapt. People whose industries had been, had been affected Teachers, lecturers, trainers, how do you train? How do you face your audience? How do you get students? How do you train students? What tools do you use? There were so many things that we had to learn. So 2020 for me, and not just for me, but I believe for millions of people all around the world. Yes, it's been a difficult time, but it's also been a time again of learning and one thing which I learned, and this is relating to my profession or what I do, which is language teaching and language training. One thing that I learned was that people want to better themselves. And in the Malaysian context, this is really interesting. 
One of the things which I saw was that, well, normally if you've been following my content, you would know that I pump out English language content, but there has been a demand. People have been saying, Dr. A, I, I know that you want to teach, you want to train people how to communicate, but I don't know the words. I don't know how, I don't know the grammar, I don't know how the sentences go together. So, announcing a new addition to this channel and what we're going to offer for the year 2021 is that we're going to start offering content in Malay. Well, we're not going to do everything in Malay now. That's just going to be an addition. We're still going to have English language content on communication, on language. We're still going to be talking on current issues as they come. And so I've said a mouthful on the year 2020. It's been a challenge. It truly, truly has. Nothing is the same. And for good, or for bad, for good or for worse, it's here to stay as we move on into the year 2021. So, here's hoping that 2021 will be a better year for all of us, a year where we emerge triumphant, where we emerge stronger, battered, bruised, but stronger, more resilient. Here's to hoping that the vaccine that is rolling out right now will work as planned and that the vaccination program will cover the globe so that we may at last return to some semblance of normalcy though we all know normalcy is perhaps not the best word to use nothing is going to be the same again but it would be good to return to greener pastures here's hoping inshallah God willing that 2021 will be a great year ahead. This is Dr. A signing off and I'll see you next time.